What it do guys, Monja Man here, and today we're going to be adding the Google Play Store to the Amazon Fire HG10 with Alexa. And she thinks I'm trying to talk to her, I'm not. First, you're going to need to go to your settings, go to security, and you see here where it says to accept the apps from unknown sources that are not the App Store specifically, you're wanting to hit yes. You definitely want that on, or else none of this later stuff is going to work. So first of all, we're going to go to the Silk browser and you're going to go to these websites that I've already put in the video description below. Check it out and just type in what you see there exactly to a T. If you go to a wrong page or a page that does not exist, you may have typed it in incorrectly. So you do want to check for that. So scroll down a bit and you'll see download Google services framework.apk. So we're going to download that, click on it. I'm going to download it again because I already had it before. So let's open it up. And here we go. Somehow this just kind of works. Just keep sending it to sleep, bringing it back. I don't really understand it completely. But we were able to get it on. So, we go to the second file, which is the Google Play Services APK download. And that is the icon there. It is different from the first one. It is your second one to do. Now, I would just get the normal one, just the first one you see here. Take a second to download, depending on your connection. And you want to download it. Now, as you see again, I have the grayed out bit. So I'm just going to... Oh wait, it came back as I, as I did that, so... Now I'm able to install it, and for whatever reason, locking it, unlocking it just kind of helps it. I can't really speak to why this is, but it must be something that allows it to get past some kind of security measures that are built in. Not too sure. You're gonna let it install, as you can see. And wait a second. And it is installed. Took a minute but it was installed. So go to the third option, the Google Account Manager APK download. And it is another one of these puzzle pieces, as you see here, but the text should be different from the last one because it is different from the last one. And we're gonna download it, say okay, open. And once again, we've hit the gray of doom. So, See, and it is here. So, if you have any issues seeing that gray bit, just put it to sleep, hitting the power button, and then hit up the power button again, swipe up, and if it works, you're good. If not, try it a few more times, that might be all you need. So, now that that one is complete, we go to the final Google Play Store APK download. And you'll see the, what, what would you call that? Some kind of canvas bag? with the icon there. So, gonna go here, gonna go to download, gonna hit OK, open, and even though this is the final one, we still have to do the trick. So let's give it a try. Did it do it? Yeah, it looks like it did it. Installing. And just like the second file, it could take a minute. It could take a second to down, or sorry, install. But it is installed, so we're gonna hit done. Let's see if it populated. We see we do have our Google settings here, and we do have the Play Store. So let's see what happens when we click on it. It is currently checking for information. Now, since this isn't actually mine, I don't know who I should log into it. But um, no, this is good. Here you can see you need to enter in your information. So this is where you would sign into your Gmail 
or whatever you use for your accounts. So it could be your email or phone number, or you can even make a new one. Well guys, that was how to install the Google Play Store on the Amazon Fire HD 10 with Alexa. Thank you. If you want to stay up to date on my videos and live streams on both YouTube and Twitch, check out the links in the description below, like, comment, subscribe, and consider donating. That's all for now guys, Mandrame out.